Austin, how beneficial was it for you and the guys to, to have the foreign tour to kind of get the season started a little bit early and get the mentality to get the season going? Um, it, it was great, especially having a bunch of young guys. I mean, me including being young, not having much experience. Um, it was great for us just to, to play against those teams overseas and get some experience that we wouldn't have gotten if we didn't get to go on that trip. And so we're, we're excited to get going, finally get out there. It's been a long time coming. You know, been playing against each other for a long time now, so we're kind of kind of getting tired of it, getting ready to take it on somebody else once. So uh, we're feeling good about ourselves right now. Well, I think with Coach Bird having us run our stuff so much, and you know, we have a young team still, fairly young compared to the rest of the league, and you know, also just so we get comfortable running our stuff. A lot of times, it's not about you know worrying so much about what the other team does, just making sure we do what we do really well. So I think it's what he's been trying to focus and. Uh, Part in us, and I think it's been working pretty good. You now we're a completely different team than we were last year, and some of the experience playing in the NCAA tournament and some of those big games like Murray, uh, we can take that experience, but that's probably about it because we're just such a different team. Marquette hasn't lost a season opener since 2001, but with the Bruins having 11 returning players, including all conference players Evan Brads and Craig Bradshaw, the Bruins have a great chance to come out on top tomorrow night. With the Bruins here in Milwaukee, I'm Grace Chapin for Belmont All Access.